Our tax to, de uh, to dig, death week dig. coverage <laughs> continues here on Fox Business. We've been talking about individual taxes and business taxes. You know, investors are not exempt from tax hikes either. If you have a 401k plan at all, you're going to want to listen to what Elizabeth McDonald has to say today. Liz is at a TD Ameritrade location in New York. Tax to death. Hey, Liz. Hi, Connell and David. Yeah, we're out in front of the TD, in front of the TD Ameritrade here. We're talking to investors uh, all morning. They are worried. They are concerned that capital gains taxes are going up and the dividend tax will nearly triple if the Bush tax cuts expire. We also have for you a very important person you're going to want to take a listen to. He actually fought the Carter administration back in the late 70s to get the Carter administration to cut capital gains tax rates down from 48%, 49%, down to 28%. He's saying not only senior citizens will get hurt by higher taxes on investment income. Senior citizens basically are facing a severe plunge in savings rates, but he's also talking about job creation could get hurt. Take a listen. It would, so it hit startups, new startups, and that's where you get the jobs. Uh, it would hit uh, utility companies uh, and energy companies because a lot of them play dividends. Um, it would hit uh, companies in general. Uh, companies go to the stock market to raise capital, to expand and create jobs. Yeah, Connell and Dagan, so what's happening here is Mr. Bloomfeld is saying specifically that utilities would get hurt. Remember in the stimulus plan that the president launched, we were going to see $80 billion come into utilities to upgrade their smart grid. He's also saying, basically, why do you need that stim spending if you're going to basically raise dividend and capital gains taxes? A lot of that investment flow goes into those companies and helps them with their infrastructure spending and their jobs growth. They're also saying tech companies, Mr. Bloomfield saying Silicon Valley was helped to be created from the capital gains and dividends cuts. He's also saying venture capital companies will get hurt by the Bush tax cuts. But the next thing we want to show you, gang, is look at what happened in the S&P 500 after the Bush tax cuts on investment income took place. We saw the, the basically dividend income and capital income and dividend plans increase. We saw 22 new plans launched after the Bush tax cuts on investment income took place in 2003. We saw $172 billion in dividend payouts. That was up about $26 billion before the Bush tax cuts on investment income uh, took place. So again, we're seeing across the board all morning a lot of investor concerns about the Bush tax cuts on investment income expiring. Back to you, gang. That's the thing, Liz. The bottom of that screen you showed before really kind of points it out, don't you think? I mean, uh, in technology companies, venture companies, we need them innovating, thinking of new ideas. That's how we're supposed to get out of this whole mess. Yeah, that's right, Connell. Yeah, and many people don't realize that jobs do come out of that capital formation, those capital flows when investors come into those companies expecting dividend income. So it's an interesting other side to this very complicated story that we're breaking down for you yeah. here at Fox Business. It matters for job growth in this country. The dividend tax cut really could may have a big impact on certain sectors of the economy. Back to you. And more from you, Liz, throughout the day as our Tax to Death Week uh, coverage continues here on Fox Business. Thanks a lot, Liz McDonald. Sure,